In today's KSAP Q&A, we are joined by San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg. Mayor, thanks for being here. Always lots of things going on in the city, lots to talk about in this very segment, so we appreciate your time. I want to talk first about a story we covered earlier in this show. The city of San Antonio now facing a lawsuit. Uh, some abortion, anti-abortion groups are upset with the city's reproductive justice fund. That's half a million dollars that was set aside in the recent uh, approved budget but for what we're not quite sure. So some of these anti-abortion groups don't want that money to pay for people to get legal abortions outside of the state, but we have not heard exactly how the money would be used, what the city's plan is for that. Are there any more details yeah. that can explain the city's plan for that money? Well, you're, you're exactly right, Myra. And so the city council has not even had the policy discussion on how those funds would be utilized. It was set aside, appropriated during the FY24 budget process, the $500,000 uh, fund called the Reproductive Justice Fund. Um, but the city council hasn't decided where those funds are going to be going in terms of the organizations, nor what those services would be for. That was a discussion that we are planning to have in the fall, uh, this fall, right now, uh, in the next uh, few months, I would expect. So um, obviously we can't comment on pending litigation. I haven't seen the lawsuit filing myself, but it certainly seems to be um, uh, well in advance of any conversation um, that, the conver that the council is having. Mayor, just from not even really specific to this topic, but just from a process standpoint, is that pretty common uh, in terms of the city setting aside money, but not really having a firm grasp or details on how that money would be used? Well, we know that it will be used in some way for women's health. And frankly, uh, I support uh, us using uh, resources to help fill the gaps on women's health. Uh, because it is not only under attack at the state level, uh, there is a severe um, proportion of uh, our population in Texas that is underinsured. And that costs us all money when health care issues are left unaddressed. Uh, but it is common. In fact, this is how things work. We appropriate dollars during the budget process. And if there's an RFP that needs to be released, the RFP uh, parameters are defined by staff and then they're eventually brought before the city council. So that's a process that hasn't happened yet. And so, yeah, as is pretty typical, whenever we bring up or whenever women's health in Texas is discussed, it's highly politicized. And uh, obviously now there's litigation on, some, on on a conversation that hasn't even yet occurred at the council. Do you personally support using some of these funds to uh, help women get ab legal abortions outside of the state of Texas? What I have said and what I stand by, Steve, is that I support uh, us doing what we can to provide and fill gaps in women's health care uh, as a result of, uh, you know, the myriad challenges being brought uh, in the politics of the day. Uh, what I will emphasize, however, is that we do not spend money. Uh, we do not pass measures that are in conflict with state law. Uh, the city attorney would never recommend something like that. So anything that we do with regard to the Reproductive Justice Fund will be within the parameters of state law. So, uh, again, uh, the lawsuit that was filed seems to be, um, you know, uh, in advance of any conversation that we've yet to have at the city council. So um, we'll see how that plays out. But again, we're going to have a policy discussion at the council and we're going to operate within state law. I want to switch gears now and talk about switch gears because we're talking about machinery here. I want to talk about JCB and the agricultural machinery factory that's coming to San Antonio. We're talking about 14, 1500 jobs. San Antonio winning a project like that. What does that say to you as the mayor? What it says to me, and this is similar to how we've talked about the impact of the transatlantic flight now, uh, being brought to San Antonio is that businesses are starting to see worldwide that San Antonio is a smart investment. And not just because San Antonio is a, a great place, a, 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 you know, a city with uh, excellent quality of life and cost of living that we're trying to protect, uh, but the people here are worth investing in. In fact, JCB 
cited our ready to work program, cited the talent availability here in San Antonio, our workforce as being one of the key reasons for their investment in San Antonio and putting jobs here. So uh, we're starting to see uh, great momentum within our economy. Uh, we're starting to see people notice San Antonio for the right reasons. And it's all because this is a community, once again, as we've said uh, over and over over the last many years, invests in itself, believes in one another, and puts our money where our mouths are, you know, to build the, the infrastructure that we need to keep a great quality of life uh, and to also ensure that we have uh, residents here who are trained for the jobs of tomorrow. Mayor, before we let you go, I want to ask you about construction happening in the downtown area. We've got some big events yeah. headed our way, Dia de los Muertos, of course, the holidays. People are going to be flocking downtown to see the lights on the river. Any advice for how to navigate all of that right now, how people can keep tabs on what's open and what's not? Because it really is changing yeah. pretty quickly down there. Uh, and it's growing pains, Myra, and I wish it were an easier process. But what we're seeing right now is... Uh, investment in our infrastructure, improving the streets that uh, have often gone ne neglected in decades past, and they're getting improved. Uh, North St. Mary Street, for instance, we've gone through that for, uh, you know, we've been banging our heads are on the wall against the wall on that project. It's finally done. It looks great. These are the kinds of improvements that we can expect going forward. Now, the city staff is getting much more uh, efficient and effective in communicating where those changes are. I would suggest uh, anybody who's interested in going into that maze downtown, uh, go to sa.gov. You can get updated uh, lane closure information. You can also get information about, you know, in the event that there's an event downtown where to park. Uh, we're doing a much better job. City staff is doing a much better job in communicating uh, the, these closures and also ensuring that we're keeping contractors accountable to move these projects forward effectively, efficiently, and uh, keeping on time and on budget. Always appreciate your time, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Have a good evening. You as well. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.